I hate doing this to my lawn. Why do I do this? Why? <laughs> so we are about to destroy this lawn. So you can see we've got a little bit of damage up here. We're not really sure what that is, whether it's fungal or not, but the rest is looking schmick. Almost the best it's ever been, but it's coming up to the end of grow season. So I've grabbed the Ryobi Scarifier. As you can see, this one here. We've also got a draper. I borrowed that off a mate. He just got that. They're roughly the same price. This one's 240 volt and this one is two times 18 volt. So battery versus power. We'll see how we go. We're going to drop the height right down with the Rover, with the cylinder mower and the Metabo. See how they go. So obviously one of the main differences is going to be this one's battery. So run time's going to be a little bit different. I'm not sure how power wise it'll go. Obviously it comes down to the torque when it's ripping up the grass. And if you didn't know, that's what this does. It rips up the dead grass from underneath. The downside for the 240 volt will be that you have to use a lead. You have to use an extension cord. So I'll definitely see how I go with that, whether I like that or not. Um, that's my main worry. I'm really keen to see how both of them go. So with the Draper, it actually comes with a different cartridge. This is the aerator. I wouldn't say it's much of an aerator. I'm not really sure if I'd use it at all. If you guys know what an aerator normally does, it actually normally looks like this. Pulls out plugs. These are the best ones. Pulls out a whole plug. So, yeah, I wouldn't say it's much of an aerator, but it is what it is. That's what it also comes with. Um, I don't think this one comes with any other cartridges. It definitely didn't in my box, but you might be able to buy them. The mower we're using to get right down is the cylinder mower. This is a Rover 45. This is my go-to. That's how I get the lines. And obviously I've recently got the Metabo. This is just a rotary mower. This is two by 18 volt batteries that go into there. They're all on charge as well as the Ryobi. So this will be used for picking up any of the extra bits and pieces. I'm really not sure how this will go with the catcher, um, how much it'll actually pick up, if it picks it all up, or we have to use the rotary. Just from those couple of runs where we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a little bit around there, we are chock a block. I am actually really surprised. This lawn is handling it like a beast. Just shows how healthy it was. I've taken a heap off the top and she looks fantastic. Obviously she'll uh, brown up overnight and we are gonna take it lower. But look at that. So I have now set up the cylinder mower to take it a little bit mower. Look at that dint. Can't wait to uh, refurbish this. But you can see I've done a couple of passes. This was the first one. It went a little bit too low. I don't wanna go quite that low. So that second pass there, I don't know if you can see that, is how low we're going. I don't want to go too low. This is, is, this is only a mini reno, and I'm not even going to be using topsoil. So I'm not wanting to do too much damage, really. So we'll take it down to that second pass. We will be using some fertilizer, some of the uh, Vanderlands gear. We've got a few other bits and pieces to put down as well. We're going to put down a siliprin, which is going to stop the lawn grubs, and we're going to put down a pre-emergence to keep out the weeds over cool season. Now's the fun part. We are going to use the Scarifier. We're going to use the Ryobi. Maybe on that side, we'll go down the middle and we'll use the Scarifier, the Ryobi on that side and the Draper on this side. We'll do a comparison, see how they go with power, see how much they pick up and uh, see what the difference is. Just to give you an idea, this was fully empty and that's all just from here. We haven't even done the Scarifier yet, which is going to fill up probably another two of these. Luckily, I've done this before, so I've got two bags which will go to the dump. Hopefully, we don't have to do more than one dump run. So the Ryobi battery is just charging. It's probably got another 10, 15 minutes, so I thought I would uh, take the Draper out. There's the blades. They don't look too bad. And uh, yeah, this is 240, so I'll have to get a lead out. And we'll smash this lawn. 
I'm just hoping this lead is uh, is long enough. Long enough? Long enough. We'll see. Yeah. Beautiful. She's at the end, but she's definitely long enough. She's not going to fall off. She's not going to not gonna come unplugged. Realistically, how do people feel about leads? Obviously, most people are getting away from the leads and petrol, they're all going battery. Um, for myself, I'm not a big lead person, but I guess if it brings down the price, if you only have a small yard, I'd probably go the lead. You don't have to buy batteries, charge, all that sort of stuff. But with the front and the back, I think I'd go the battery. But who knows, it could literally be day and night with the 240 versus the 218 volt. Could be the other way around. What do you guys think? So this is pretty much the same as the Metabo mower. You press that down first, then pull the trigger. Oh, you can hear it go. Oh yeah, pull it up. That goes lower, that goes higher. Start on four and see how much it pulls up. So from the looks of that, it's not picking up too much yet, so we'll drop it down. Might, I reckon I might go down to two. So that didn't really do much at all. That looks better. Ooh, okay, that, that is definitely working. Look at that. That's actually worked extremely well. I'm actually very surprised. That's on a two. I don't think I want to go much more than that. So that was one, one pass on, what was that, on two. So the second lowest and we're full. So it's only a small catcher. I don't know why they give you only small catchers, but I guess realistically, it's only a small machine. Makes sort of makes sense. So first thoughts, I'm actually really happy with it. The uh, cord isn't too bad at the moment. We'll definitely see how bad that gets and how annoying it gets, but gets the job done to a degree. And it's super light, it's only nine kilos. So it, it takes nothing to push compared to some of the other ones I've used. So we've done quite a few passes. We've done up to half the lawn. I don't know if I'm fully happy with it. I might even drop it down a level, but the Ryobi is ready to go. So I figured I may as well do the other side. We'll do it at the same height. We'll do number two or the second highest and we'll compare them and see if it's enough. I wouldn't mind doing at least another pass. It's still really thick and I think there's a lot more down there. It's obviously not a commercial grade piece of equipment. Like just look at it, it's made of plastic, has a lead and costs about 350 bucks. So usually these will cost about 150 a day to hire a proper industrial one or commercial one. That's what I used last year and it brought up so much in that first pass. But um, yeah, let's give the Ryobi a go. So these are five amp hours. These are the lithium one plus. So I think you get a little bit more power out of these compared to the old ones, obviously. And both of these, let's see, fully charged, fully charged. So we'll be timing this to see how long these last as well. But we are on, what are we on? Two, you got three. Yeah, so you got four levels, zero, one, two, three. Let's just go two, see if it's roughly the same. Same thing, press the button, do that at the same time. Nice and easy. Yeah, look at that. That's actually, that's a massive difference. Might be because this side's a bit wetter maybe. So we'll see down there first. Let's do that just for a proper comparison straight up. It could be because it's a little bit deeper as well. So we'll do one pass. 
Yeah, must be just because it's wet. Oh, so how much have we picked up? up a heap on that first run. Alright, so I feel like this bogs down a little bit more. I might do that again just to compare. But the actual feel of it feels like the blades can't keep up, if that makes sense. It doesn't have enough torque because this is obviously There's definitely a little bit of a difference because this is on battery. I really do think that. Like, it's not going to make a difference. It's only slight. I don't know if you can hear that. Just visually, it is quite good. Especially even compared to the commercial one I used last time. I don't know how much of a difference there really is. It was probably a little bit more last time, but realistically, that's good. <laughs> I'm super happy with this, guys. So it's come up pretty good. Still some lines down there. It's pretty green down the end, which is uh, really, really good. I'm really happy with the health of the lawn overall, but I did just go over it with the cylinder mower. That's how we got the line still, and it looks semi all right. I don't know how it looks on camera. Yeah, it's not too bad. So I'm not going to do the filming of the back. Obviously, I don't really need to do much of that. And I really want to smash this out. This has taken a lot longer with all the filming. But check out how much grass we've got. That's insane. That's just from the front. So that's also full, the uh, wheelie bin. But if we have a look at these, both of these are the same. I just checked. Three bars still. These are fives. And on here it says... Uh, 45 minutes, oh, up to 45 minutes, no load, obviously, that's just run time. And uh, yeah, we've probably had a roughly half an hour, I reckon, to do that and that twice. I've gone over it twice. I'm really happy with that. I should be able to get this done at the back with the same batteries. The back is 110 square meters, the front is roughly 100. So you're looking about 250 square, it's pretty easy. I really am gonna be sad though, like, Look how green that is. I've only been using the Metabo out here. That's why the lines aren't really coming up anymore. Been using it for about a month. And she is luscious. After all the flooding, all down here was roughly 300 high with water only two weeks ago. Cruising through with the Scarifier at the moment, it was on two, which is the second lowest. And as you can see, like I haven't taken this down too low yet because I just got out the cylinder mower. I couldn't be bothered lowering it just yet. Figured I'd go over it and then go over it again. I don't know, but this is what we've done. So lowered it down to the three and it's actually cruising pretty well. You can see how much difference. It's pulling out a lot more and it's, uh, Definitely putting up with it. It's got enough torque. We'll do the rest on three and then we'll give it a mo. So just after doing a little bit over half and on the lower setting, these are super hot, like really hot. Obviously I can just hold them, but they're pretty much dead. That's on one. Uh, that's on one, dead. 
No, throw my charge. Done. Went over it twice with the scarifier, twice with the cylinder. So I did the cylinder, scarifier, cylinder, scarifier, and then one last cylinder. Looking good. So we've got to take that, we've got three of those to the dump, get rid of that, but then we're going to throw the Pro Turf down and the Acceleprint. Get in here. Throw these on, we've got the Pro Turf, that is the granule fertilizer. We're gonna throw that in, and we're gonna throw that in, and not the liquid. Usually I use the Vanderlands liquids, but we don't have enough leaf for the grass to take up the nutrients. We're gonna be using the granule. And after that, we're gonna be using the Acilipran just to make sure we don't get black beetle or the um, worms, the army worms. They got me last year, not this year. So we're looking roughly three months later now. Within a month, the lawn pretty much got back to the way it was. And pretty much the way it is now, as you can see, we've definitely still got that color. She's healthy as, and we're actually now in winter. So it's going dormant at the moment, so it's not gonna be growing much. So I've just got to maintain it. Front is looking exactly the same really really good even down this side where it was pretty much all dead has come up really nice we've just got that one little patch there i've tried a few things but didn't get it in time as you can see she's come up beautifully before everyone asks what supplements i use on the lawns pretty much everything is from vanderlands i even get the acelepron that's for the bugs and that i get that from him as well uh, that's the Pro Turf, that's the fertilizer I used. Uh, Astro, that's for summer, that's to uh, regulate the growth of the lawn. It actually slows it down. That is pretty much a must here in Australia during summer, but we won't be using that in winter. Um, and pretty much all this gear is the other stuff I use. Got some Protoson there, Renaissance, Largo, Iron Maid, and there'll just be a wedding agent in there as well. So I'll leave the link for all that in the uh, description, so check that out. So what are my final thoughts on the scarifiers? Realistically, if you're not on the Ryobi platform already and have the batteries in the charger, I think I'd be going for the Draper, the 240 volt one. And especially if you don't have a massive lawn and need a lot of extension leads, I don't think the problem is big enough to have to spend another two to $300 on batteries and chargers. Obviously with the batteries, there was a hassle for myself because of the size of the yard, I had to wait for it to charge. And it was just lucky I did have the Draper where I could just keep going. I do really think that the Draper got the job done just a little bit easier. It doesn't bog down as much as the 18 volt. Realistically, I don't think it's a problem but it's just that little bit better. Uh, if you do have a lot of thatch in your lawn, this one might struggle a little bit to get it done quicker. Um, like, but at the end of the day, I do not think there's much of a difference there. When it comes to the commercial scarifiers, I borrowed that or hired it for $150 for a day. Obviously this one's, I think, was it three, Three, it's around the 350, the same as the Draper, this one without the batteries, obviously. Um, so it's a little bit more expensive, but I'll probably use this twice a year. So if I use it twice, that's pretty much made up for it. And I really do think that it's really close to how well the commercial one worked. I'd love to hear everyone else's thoughts on that. But for me, it got the job done absolutely brilliantly. It's a lot lighter. You can um, fold it away. You don't have to go off with the trailer to pick up the higher one. And you can also do what a lot of other people do, is they get one of these, they use it that once or twice a year, but they hire it out in summer. But at the end of the day, I'm really happy with the Ryobi. I'll be really keen to see how long it lasts 
when I use it a couple of times a year and maybe even hire it out. But let me know which one was your choice. Have you used either of them? And what did you think of them? And until next time, stay addicted to tools.